Hey guys, it's Jonah here once again, and I'm surfing the sea of beer on my stand-up paddleboard of doom. Um, <laughs> yeah, where did that come from? Don't know. But I'm back in London, uh, in Camberwell of all places, where that famous carrot comes from, uh, from Withnail and I, if you remember that movie. Um, and we're at Brewing by Numbers, uh, and this is their number 11. It's a session IPA. Oh, dearie me, my absolute favourite, or should I say, my worst favourite. It's a mosaic, uh, hops, 4.2% uh, on the ABV. Nice can, quite um, stylish black can. Um, Brew my numbers. All the hop character of an IPA crammed into a low ABV beer. Mosaic hops take the centre stage in this recipe. Even got some uh, weird things there, so it's definitely a hoppy bad boy. A um, little bit of malt, a little bit of bitterness, etc., etc. Um, best before October. Well, that's good because um, we're nowhere near that. Um, and it's vegan, which is kind of cool. Now, as you well know, Session IPA, please stop calling a beer a Session IPA. It's a misanoma. It's like having a plastic glass. They're two separate things. A glass is made of glass. It's not made of plastic. Jesus Christ. Um, and an IPA is not a Session beer. Sorry, but it's complete shit. I am taking minus one off any grade that I give this, uh, this beer. Uh, on untapped, definitely, it's getting a markdown as a minus one, purely for the name Session IPA. It's a pale ale, or in this case, it's probably a hazy ale. It is not an IPA. Even if it's made with a, an IPA recipe and then watered down with water, which I suspect a lot of places do, this can is quite hard. So. Whoa. Yep, this is not the glass to be doing that kind of stuff with. I thought I'd give this glass another go. Lucky this is only a 3.30. Because I've now gone for a, a very, very slow pour, I might get the majority of this bad boy in here. But that head is ridiculously big. Should play some background music here. Let's look in the gallery. Well, let me tell you, that is one hoppy bad boy. Through by numbers. Once more, we have a fist minus the thumb of the head there. And that's not really hazy, it's just an absolute cascade of ridiculousness coming from this uh, from this glass. I might, I might have to retire this glass, but oh, lovely smell of vision, should I say. Look at that perfectly white, fluffy head, looks like a cloud. Um, and that beer is really, really light. It's unbelievably light, tiny bit hazy, uh, but you get the idea. <sighs> now, Mosaic is quite a popular hop. This says Mosaic takes the center stage. It does not say that it's a single hopped beer. So I very much suspect there could be a tiny bit of other hoppage in here. Um, but you never know. I'm getting lovely fruit, tropical fruit, but mosaic is one of those hops that is known for having that kind of chewing gummy type thing going on. And that's definitely what I can get along with kind of red fruits or maybe not red fruits like um, uh, blackcurrant, blueberry, 
maybe a current, maybe a something berry, Logan berry, maybe. It's that type of thing. Really good, right? Cheers and beers, guys. Let's make up for that disastrous pour by having a drink. Lovely and fresh. Almost like lagery. Then it goes into tropical kind of fruitiness, but not obscenely so. And we are getting that kind of chewy kind of thing in the background. Maybe a little bit of kind of citrusy or citra type stuff. Maybe a little bit grassy too. I mean, this is supposed to be an IPA, they said, um, albeit a session one. Oh. So that piney kind of grassy thing. Definitely there in the background. Now, I wonder, those of you that watch my videos, you know much more than I do a lot of the time. I wonder where Mosaic came from. Did it come from Cascade or Centennial as a parent um, or somewhere like that? Is that where they're getting that kind of kind of bubble gummy type thing from? Not sure. But yeah, it would make sense if it was like maybe a Cascade perhaps. Well, half a pint of head. Bit of kind of lacing, but it's not proper lacing. It's just the bubbles kind of stuck on the side of that can. Let me see, can I get some more beer in this bad boy? I'm going for the most incredibly slow pour. SJ would not be impressed by that. That's SJ pour, by the way. Hey mate, how are you doing? You all right? Oh, tell you what I'm not liking. I don't know if you guys saw that. Can you see? Look at that. There are definitely some weird little thingies floating in there. If it focuses on the glass instead of me. There are definitely some some bits. Oh, there you go. Can you see them? Stuck in little bits down there on the bottom of the glass. Look, look at that. Jesus. Hop particles, I would say. Which means this bad boy has definitely been dry hopped. To fuck. Um, hey, it's not the end of the world. Now that I know they're there, I'm not going to drink right to the bottom of this glass. Um, but here's a tip for you guys. If you see little bits and bobs floating around, give it a swirl like I'm doing like that. And you might think, no, 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 that will bring those particles into the beer, which they do. But that swirling action creates like a vortex in the beer. And when the, the particles drop down, which will be reasonably soon, they drop down right into the middle and form a wee cone, which is like the anti kind of antithesis of the vortex, which is this, forms a cone like this. It's weird, it's like an hourglass kind of thing. Physics, Uncle John teaches you physics through doing a beer review. And um, yeah. Those little hot particles are right in the center of the glass now. Don't know if that's a benefit, but that's what I usually do. Mosaic is one of those hops that people kind when you're thinking of a hazy, a hazy IPA, not a session hazy session IPA. Um, 
yeah, mosaic is one of those hops that people use a lot. Um, it's really nice having one in a, um, what, what did they call it? A, um, the grander scheme of things, uh, center stage, center stage beer like this. Um, cause it really does highlight, um, yeah, the good things about that hop. Um, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of juiciness as well, but kind of not in an orangey way, more in a sort of lemony way. Mm -hmm. Or a limey way, which is kind of interesting as well. Anyway, I am going to be very, very careful in drinking this tiny, tiny little bit of beer left. Um, and look at that head, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, cheers and beers, guys. We'll see you for the next one real soon.